rosemary. We've got a big giant basket that we just harvested from our garden and we're gonna use this Excalibur dehydrator. It has a series of rows in here and it does come with more trays that fit in between here. I've left it this way because these um, fronds are a little bit large and I do not take each individual one off. You can if you want to, it's completely up to you. I find it easier just to wash them, put them right on the tray, and then when they're nice and dry, just zip them right off. Here's what the tray looks like on the inside. It has a plastic mesh here to keep smaller items from falling through. We're gonna go ahead and get this washed up and I will show you placing them on the tray and the temperature to put it at. Be right back. All right, look at this. They're all washed and ready to go. Um, something special about rosemary is when you harvest it, these are, these are huge. My plant was giant, but you don't want to go too deep on the plant typically or they won't be able to recover before winter hits. So if your plant is small, just take the first two inches off the top. My plant, like I said, was giant and it's gonna recover fine and it will do just great. Uh, but keep that in mind when you're harvesting your rosemary. So we have our tray here and these are clean. We're just gonna set them on here um, just willy nilly. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that we really wanna make sure of is that there's a little bit of space between each one. We might need to cut them a little bit smaller to fit on the tray and that's all right. Just to make sure there's a little bit of air space between each sprig of rosemary. And as you can see, well maybe you can, I can definitely see, it's pretty poofy. And as I put this in here, I'm noticing that it's gonna be impossible to put the extra trays in without smashing the herbs down. And if we smash the herbs down, they're not gonna have enough airflow to dry properly. And the last thing we want is moldy, gross tasting herbs. So we're just gonna stick with the four trays in here. We're gonna load them all up, put it at 95 degrees for herbs. That is a pretty standard temperature. Your dehydrator may tell you something different. And if it does, just do whatever your dehydrator says. I'm gonna put mine to 95 degrees. You're gonna want to dry these for at least eight hours and maybe upwards of 24 hours, depending on how much you know, extra water. I don't know. Can you see that? It's raining rosemary water in my kitchen right now. It's probably going to take these 24 hours. If you get them nice and dry, maybe eight hours, just put it in a spot where it's not going to annoy you and just let it go. Check on it after eight hours. If it's still not nice and brittle, like you would expect an herb to be, just let it go for a little bit longer. And I will let you know how long this batch takes, considering that mine are still kind of wet. Then I will show you how to grind up the dried herbs and place them in jars. And oh my goodness, what a treasure it is to have your own homegrown herbs to put on your meals. You will be happy and all of your dinner guests will be in envy. All right, see, see you in a little bit. Hi, welcome back. It's been 24 hours since we put the rosemary in the dehydrator. It was running at 95 degrees and it really did take the full 24 hours for my batch. Again, as you saw, I put it in pretty wet. It has turned out amazing. Uh, it's like a dead branch. That's perfect. This is exactly what we want. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the rosemary from the stem and three different ways to process it for preservation. All right, so you've got your stem. You don't want to do this one at a time. Like, he loves me, he loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Because you'll be doing this for the rest of your life. So grab your stem at one end, grab a hold of it just like so, and pull it down. That's it, got a naked stem and a bowl full of herbs. At this point, if you want, you can just put this right into your spice jar, stick a lid on it, and call it. Or you might want it to be more of a chopped rosemary. And in that case, I do suggest a coffee grinder. Obviously, you remove the rosemary the same way. 
grab it from the top, pull it down, stick it in. And since I don't have a plug in right here, I'm not going to grind it, and that's okay, it'll save your ears anyway. I'm sure, you know, your coffee grinder is probably like mine, just has a button, you push it down, and then check on it, you know, pulse it, you know, just do like a buzz, buzz, and until you see the consistency that you're looking for. When this video is over, I'll show you a close up of what the texture looks like after it's been run through the coffee grinder. And last but not least, we have the mortar and pestle, the most ancient of kitchen tools. I like this uh, particular method because I like my herbs uh, pretty fine, I guess you could say. So of course you remove the rosemary the same way, nice and easy, pop it right in there. And if you're gonna do the smash version, you might as well just use the grinder because it's going to take you a long time to do it this way. But hey, if, if the mortar and pestle is all you have and you want that chopped look, then I would suggest kind of like getting serious about it. You know, chop it like hard and fast. All right, but I have the coffee grinder, so that's what I use for doing the chopped rosemary. I use the mortar and pestle specifically for the, um, the fine rosemary. And you're going to want to muddle it in that case. And just keep doing it until it's the texture that you're looking for for your recipes. And that's it as far as processing the rosemary. All you have to do now is put it in your spice jar. Funnel is helpful. If you don't have any spice jars on hand, you can put them in plastic. Try to make it as airtight as possible. Then you're going to want to store this in a cool, dark place, like your pantry would be perfect, or your root cellar if you have one. Either way, should last you at least a year, if not longer. Thank you so much for joining me as I preserved rosemary this year. Looking forward to seeing you next time. If I've been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel and send me a comment or question. If there's a particular subject that you're interested in knowing about in relation to food preservation, I would love to hear about it. See you next time. time.